Hello everybody, it's Premier Gal here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add film color and grain to your video in Premiere Pro using the Film Convert plugin. Film Convert makes it super easy and quick for you to apply that cinematic look to your video. I almost like to compare it to when you're on Instagram and you're adding filters to your photos. Instead, you're choosing from some really well-made film stock presets that Film Convert has created, and you get to select from um, film stocks like Kodak, Fujifilm, Polaroid, and apply them to your video um, to create that quick and easy cinematic look um, that's quite pleasing to the eye. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first step is to go to filmconvert.com to download the free trial. It'll ask you to put in your name, um, your email address, and your operating system, and, and what kind of software. So for us, we're gonna choose the Adobe After Effects and Premiere. Another thing that you're going to need, which I'll explain later, is your camera profile. So Film Convert matches your camera profile to the different stocks within the plugin once you're in Premiere Pro. So if you go to filmconvert.com, or if you just Google Film um, Convert Camera Profile, it'll take you to this page where you can select your camera profile. And I, for the, the particular video that I'm going to show you, I used a Canon 5D Mark II. Again, choose your operating system and your location, and you can download. And then if you decide to purchase Film Convert, you can go to buy now and they will email you um, a registration key that you will input um, into the trial version um, within Premiere Pro. So here I have this basic hiking sequence that I filmed in um, March of 2015 on a Canon 5D Mark II. It was in the Delaware wetlands and I want to apply a kind of film look to it because right now it has no filters or color gradients. So let me show you what it looks like right now. All right, so it was just, you know, a basic montage with music, but I want to add some fun film stocks to it to make it look, you know, more rounded out and more complete. So to apply the Film Convert plugin, you go and you select the clip that you want to apply the effects to. So I'm just going to highlight that clip. Um, you're going to go to your effects tab and you're going to search for Film Convert. I already have it typed in here, but let me type it in again. So you then take this and you apply it to your clip by just dragging it down and dropping. And then you'll click on the clip, go to your effects controls tab. And if you just scroll on down, there's the Film Convert Pro plugin um, ready to use. So firstly, if you do the caret right here, next to camera settings, you can select your camera profile for this clip. We shot it on a Canon 5D Mark II. So let's go ahead and find that setting here. If you don't see yours in there, you have to go and download your camera profile like I showed you before. And then underneath you can select various different film settings here. So let's go ahead and apply the Fuji 8543 Vivid VD. If you want to see like the before and after, you can hit this FX button um, next to Film Convert Pro and it takes away. So you can see a little bit more contrast, a little bit more film color going on here, um, which I like. It's, it's kind of subtle and it's not too much. Um, you can of course um, also adjust the Kelvin temperature um, if you'd like. So if you want to make it like 4800, you can see that it's more blue, um, but that's not really what we're going for. I'm going to keep it back at the, the 5600 here. It's a better film look. Um, you can also adjust the exposure. So if you wanted to add like 0.1 more exposure there, you can get a little bit more brightness there. You can adjust the softness. You can really manipulate the preset however you like. However, I really like that the way it looked when I first applied it, so I'm just gonna keep it. To save time and to apply the same look to the other clips I have in my sequence, you can just copy this clip, and then if you click and select all the rest of the clips, you can hit Control and paste the attributes, and I'm gonna paste, not the motion, just the Film Convert Pro look. So now we have new footage with a new look. So you can see the before and after here. If I go back to effects controls and I select this clip, 
you can see that before, if I hit this FX button again, the shirt was much more red, and then now it's more like a deep color because of the, the film color that we applied, the Fujifilm 8543 Vivid. So if you unselect that, you can see that it really toned it down a bit and added some more darker tones. So that's how you do it. I can also show you um, another look that I applied. Um, I actually made these sequences beforehand. Um, I did a Polaroid 60 millimeter frame size um, filter. So you can see it's really different. It's a lot more vintage and old school looking. Um, it's a Polaroid 600 um, film setting. And you can also see that the grain is quite high for this. Um, you can change the size as well if you want it to be like a Super 8. Um, it's even a little bit more blurry. You can add 35 millimeter full frame, a little bit more detail that you see there. You really have a lot of customization at your fingertips within the Film Convert plugin. However, the presets already work so great. This is why I love using the tool. So I really encourage you to at least go and download the trial to try out in Premiere Pro. If you decide to purchase it, it is $149 for Premiere Pro and After Effects. I do have a special offer for you. If you use the promo code PremiereGal, you can get 10% off your purchase. So let me know how it goes and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.